<laughs> Hi there, welcome to KB Shaves. No, nope, I don't know. Uh, okay, looking forward to today's shave. Uh, it's night time. It's pitch black outside. Ooh, it's almost Halloween. Um, yeah, so this is a product I've been waiting to use for a long time. I bought this probably about two months ago uh, and I've never used it. So I want to use it today uh, because I think it deserves uh, to be used. Well, it does. Uh, so here it is here. As you've seen from the title, it's the Edwin Jagger 316 uh, L stainless steel. The just after quarter past three razor. Yeah, work that one out. Uh, beautifully made. Yeah, look at the detailing on that. Sheffield, England. Uh, and on the collar there it has Edwin Jagger. Yeah, really nicely made. I've put the uh, plastic washer that I always use on these stainless steel razors. Um, I'll put the specs up, the weight and the length of uh, handle and stuff like that. I'll put that up on the screen right now. So that's the razor I'm going to be using. Um, nice snarling on the handle. Yeah, I might put some close-ups in right now for you to have a look at. So it's a nice looking razor, right? Yeah. Uh, the soap I'm going to be using is Palmolive. Now, this one has a circle around it and it has a circle around there. And the reason I do that is because I want to know which one. I have quite a few of these. <laughs> quite a few of these shave sticks and I like to know which one I'm using. So this one's been used, so I put a little circle around it so I know which box is. Yeah, as you can see there. But I'm not going to be using it as it is like this. So there, there's the, the stick there. Uh, comes in this box. But what I've done, I've grated up three of those sticks and put them into this. This was a, a dish that had um, this plastic. It had, I think it had um, moisturiser in it or something like that. So I've grated them up and there it is in there, as you can see, and I've just stuck some <laughs> quite um, lame <laughs> looking palm olive men, just so I know what it is. I've even put the ingredients on the bottom, so if you want to pause that. Yeah, it's just, just so I know what's inside this tub, but there's about three palm olive sticks grated up. You just get an old cheese grater, grate it up, push it in, and press it down, uh, and there it is in there. I there's a little bit of foil in there. Maybe that was uh, left from the soap. Yeah, so there it is there. So that's the soap I'm going to be using today. Quite a, a, a mild scented soap. It has a little bit of a scent. Um, if you guys know Palmolive, you'll know what it smells like. It's very cheap. You can still get these. There is some uh, stores in the UK still stocking this. 75 pence for one of these. So, um, yeah. And I've just noticed I've got a little pimple here. So I've got the uh, styptic at the ready. Uh, let me show you the blade. I was uh, contacted, um, asked if I wanted to try these. Uh, this is Wizamet Super Extra Stainless Blade. Now, I don't know if these are the Paul Silver Super Iridium, uh, just rebranded. Uh, they're made in Russia, if you can see it on the side there. I don't know if that will focus. Yeah, it says um, Gillette and uh, it's got Procter & Gamble and stuff on there and St. Petersburg's mentioned and stuff like that. So I'm going to use um, one of these blades. Now, there is a seller selling these, the guy that sent me this. So I'll put the link to the website. Um, yeah, I've never used them before, I've never opened the pack, so you guys are seeing it as I'm seeing it. So let me just take the blade out. Right. 
So that does look like, I think the Paul Silver ones have Paul Silver written on them, don't they? Or do they? I can't remember. Um, I'll maybe check and put it up on the screen if they do. So it just says Super Iridium Extra Stainless. Super Iridium Extra Stainless. So I don't know if these are the Paul Silvers because I think they've stopped making Paul Silvers. Um, so maybe these Wizamet are the same blades. I don't know. Someone will know. Uh, here's the head of the Edwin Jagger just after quarter past three razor. <coughs> So I'll put the blade on there. Yeah, fits in really nicely. There it is. Base cap goes on. Plastic washer. Yeah, Sheffield steel. So uh, you know this is going to be good. And there's a blade. Beautifully aligned. Yeah, I like this razor. It has nice weight to it. It's a nice length, balance. Very good. Right, I've forgotten about the brush and he's not going to be happy. The brush I'm going to be using for today is, and some of you guys have been wanting to see this guy for quite a while, the big Sterling Kong. All right, Kevy, where have you been, pal? You've not used me in a shave for ages and ages. Oh, it's good to be back, Kevy. It's good to be back. Let me lather up the soap. It's good to be back, Kevy. It's a big Stirling Kong. What can go wrong? Nice to see you back. Thank you, Kevy. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's lather up the soap. So I've showed you everything. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Yeah, this is an evening shave, so it's Tuesday evening as I film this. Um, I don't know when I'll get it uploaded. Maybe Wednesday, maybe Thursday, who knows. Right, I'm just going to put a bit of water onto the top of the soap. Not to bloom it, just to help with the brush. And I'll start gathering the palm olive. How are you enjoying that, Mr. Kong? Oh, Kevy, I'm loving it. I'm loving it, mate. Give me that soap. Give me that soap. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me that soap. <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, so the Edwin Jagger 316L. Yeah, as I say, I bought this probably about two, two months ago, maybe. And uh, I've been waiting to use it, and there's other razors came in um, that I've wanted to review. I just, in the mail actually this week, I just got another razor from Sheldon, a Global Shave, so it's another one to review. Um, can't keep up with uh, Sheldon and his razor releases. I got some new, um, some new heads from Yaki, very nice that I'm going to show you. I might just show you them in a, a video on their own kind of thing, so. Right, I think that's enough in the brush. And there's tons in here, so let me just wet my face. I'll gather that from the <coughs> from the tub. Yeah, palm olive soap. Shave stick. I think it's still available in Europe. Uh, the shave stick. I'm pretty sure you can still get it in like Germany and Places like that, but they've stopped making them in the UK. Or stopped selling them in the UK. I don't know if they were ever made in the UK. God, there's enough lather here for the, from the tub. But I like lathering up, you know, as you know, that's uh, one of my favourite parts of the shave. You can feel how slick this is. So I'm kind of using this as a, like a pre-shave. Get out of my hands. I shall rinse the soap out.
that's all cleaned out. So I shall just sit that upside down there. Okay, let's go. Yeah, this is a nice, uh, well, apart from the razor, <clears throat> it's a nice uh, basic kind of shave. Palm olive. Uh, this brush isn't expensive. It's a 26 millimeter knot. Very soft. Yeah, I'm just putting some uh, water in the sink because I'm going to need some. It's very dry, this lather, as you can see. So what I do is, I do that on my chin, and can you see there's a little hole in there? I just let the water drip into that. And put it on the face. I'm not in any hurry, I'm just uh, having a nice relaxing shave. Still needs more water, so I've... Yeah, I think it needs a bit more, so I'm just going to... Dip the tips of the brush. Yeah, don't be scared to add water. And I think I said that to someone the other day, actually. I am... Um, <laughs> this is sound quite sad. Uh, I practice my lathers. <laughs> like sometimes in the evenings, I'll just get soap, lather it up, put it on my face, see how much water it could take. Uh, I don't shave with it, I just wash it off. Some people say, but that's uh, wasting soap. Yeah, well, it, it might be for some, but I've got loads of soap, way too many soaps. I can afford to kind of practice lathering them. I'm just dipping the tips again. I have um, two days growth here. Yeah, so that's what I'm looking for. Uh, dipping them again. I'm looking for a nice uh, shine on the lather. A kind of sheen on it, and that's um, when you know that there's enough water in it. Look at that. Yep, who needs your big artisan soaps, eh? Look at this. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Right, one more dip. You can't argue with that. Look at that. Can you see the shine on that? Beautiful. Look at that brush, it's chock a block. Right, let me get that cleaned up a little bit. So I'm heating the razor and the blade. The reason I do that is just so that it's not cold steel from the blade going to my face. Look at that lather. Really good. Okay, here we go with the 
Edwin Jagger just after quarter past three. With the Wizomet blade. Nice. Nice and smooth. Yeah, the uh, the channels on this for for letting the lather pass through. You can see them on the bottom there. Really good. It, um. It doesn't feel aggressive. There's not much blade feel. Feels very smooth. Now is there any overhand? Yes, there is. I can feel a tiny little bit. You can just see the, the edges of the blade sticking out of the, the side there. Yeah, so I'll put the specs up of the razor. I think to buy this new, um, well certainly in the UK, it's uh, £75. Some people might say, well, that's a lot for a razor, but you're getting a piece of stainless steel, all stainless steel that will last you if you look after it for a lifetime. And you'll be able to pass this on. An heirloom. Lather. Bother with lather. Wow, that's smooth. Yeah, you know you're going to get a good product, Edwin Jagger. It's nice that uh, that little pimple's held up. This pass anyway. <laughs> okay, first pass done. Ooh. Nice slickness from that palm oil of soap. Okay, let me rinse and come back for pass number two. Banana. I don't know. Okay. Back for the second pass. Look at this brush. Yeah, it's still, um, it's still a great lather. How your shaves been? Going well, I hope. What have you been using? Do any of you own the uh, 316L from Edwin Jagger? Um, I know you get it in different colours, the handle. I, want, I, I went for just the traditional kind of uh, stainless steel finish. Okay, second pass across the growth of the hair. Oh, that blade feels really nice. Okay. 
Yeah, it does. It feels um. It feels sharp but smooth. Got a nick on my chin. Probably about four or five shaves ago, and um, it seems to take forever to heal. It must just be in that one place that. Um, that will stay there <laughs> forever. Like these. You see these two scars here? They're uh, shaving scars. Do you have any shaving scars? Yeah, one of them was a Rex Ambassador and the other one was the, uh, oh, what was that razor called? The, um, oh, let me think. It was like a, an old vintage, it looked like a tractor. It was all kind of, you had to flip it over and then spin it around and you had to put the blade in and it was, uh, oh, what was it called? I can't remember what it was called. There's like one of these that you that you can sharpen, you know, that you put in a tin kind of thing and put it back and forward and it was, oh, it was just... It wasn't made properly. I think there was a bit missing from it that I had to kind of hold the razor when I was shaving. God, what was it called? A valley. A valley razor. V-A-L-E-T. Yeah, I think, um... My friend, Arthur Lam, you let me borrow it. <laughs> Probably knowing that I would slice my face with putting with it. Yeah, Kev, you can have a try of that. It's a really good razor. Whoosh! Thanks, Arthur. <laughs> well, you can look back. I think I filmed it. Uh, you can look back at the shave. See it. Okay, two passes done. Nice residual slickness. Okay, let me rinse, come back for the third pass against the growth. See if this pimple will survive. Right, that's good. Now some of this... Uh... I'm just rinsing it off the handle so I can hold it without it slipping out of my hand. Yeah, I'm not sure why. They stopped um, selling palmolive sticks in the UK. I don't know why. Because they, I, I think they were selling well enough. It's a nice scent, it's a, just like a kind of soapy scent. Well, it's pleasant enough. I think you could still get the cream here in the UK, but not these little sticks. I think when the stock runs out, um, that'll be it. Yeah, I used to go into my supermarket um, there's a supermarket here called Asda, who's owned by Walmart. Um, you guys have Walmart in the States. And there used to be pummel of shave sticks. Uh, and the whole shelf, there'd be about 30 or 40 of them. And then I'd go in maybe the week later, and there'd be about three or four left. So it wasn't like they weren't selling them. Um, people were buying them, so I don't know why they stopped. Okay, third pass. Pimple. It's like I'm going over it because I want to slice the top of it off. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> really. Very nice. 
Yeah, the reason I wanted to have a shave tonight as well, uh, Tuesday night, Tuesday evening, they've just announced that there's going to be a, a general election here. An election on the uh, 12th of December. Oh man. Politics isn't really my thing, uh, but the last few weeks, I think everybody in the UK with this um, Brexit carry on, I think everybody's just fed up with it all. Listen to that. Great feedback. Yeah, this handle, it's not going to slip. Yeah, a couple little dots here, look. Always when I go against the grain up here. Okay, three parts is done. Let's have a feel about it. I'll have a little rinse, see if there's anything pickups wise. jawline and around here okay In the weird, there's always one, there's always one little spot that, um, no matter which way you go, it seems to, every time you do that, it's still, you can still feel a tiny little bit of stubble. But of course, you shouldn't go uh, shaving too much over the same spot. Very light touch there. Yeah, look, there's a couple of little weepers there. Always chasing BBS. Always chasing it. There's a little bit there, there's a little bit there. Quick, get it, get it. Feels good. That feels excellent. Okay. Let's uh, look at this ladder. 
Look at that. You can't argue with that, can you? Okay, I'll have a face wash with this. Mmm. Great classic scent. This was the soap my dad used as well. Uh, the shave sticks. Okay. I'll leave this on, clean up my gear, rinse this off with icy, 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 icy cold water, and I'll see you for the post shave. Nice shave. Okay, um, post shave. As this is the evening, I'll be going to bed soon. Um, I don't want to put in any crazy aftershave splash that's going to smell. That's going to smell. It's going to smell nice. I don't want it to smell too nice, you know. Um, I picked something up in Boots. Uh, Boots the chemist. I seen uh, these cucumber facial toner. Uh, these were on special. I think it was three for two and cucumber moisturizing lotion um, and you also get a cream as well which I have but I'm going to use this it's kind of I've seen some guys using them I think Craig Prentice uh, uses this stuff so why not I thought let's give it a go just a little bit of that yeah nice scent mm, that feels nice Kind of like uh, Thayer's uh, Cucumber Witch Hazel. What are you getting in Boots? I think it was something like maybe one ninety nine dollars each. Um, but it was three for two. So you got a three for the price of two. That's how three for two works. Three. You buy three, um, but it's the price of two. So you get two actually for three. Three. Yeah, feels nice. Uh, okay, and I'll finish it off with the moisturizing lotion for a smooth day. Okay, it's, um, yeah, it's quite a thick cream. So, let's just use some of this. Yeah, smells of cucumber too, not too strong. It's nice, just to put the moisture back in. It's getting uh, really cold here. The weather's starting to turn and it's really dark at night. And the winter's coming, I hate winter. It's getting chilly. But there you go, feels good. Good stuff, yeah, it's easy to rub in. And that pimple has survived. Whee! <laughs> okay, let me show you what we've used in this shave today. Fantastic, I really enjoyed it. The Edwin Jagger just after quarter past three razor, 316L, all stainless steel, made in Sheffield, England. Beautiful razor, really nice, great weight, balance, shaves fantastically well. Um, yeah, I love it, really good, really, really good. Inside that, brand new Wizamet Super Iridium. Uh, blade. I'm just looking at the back there because I've seen the, something on the logo, but I don't think it says was meant. Anyway, I'm not sure if these are Paul Silver Super Iridium kind of rebranded because uh, I know they were stopping them, but these are these are made in St. Petersburg, St. Petersburg. So they, they have Gillette on there somewhere. I just try to find it on the on the side. Yeah, there's a, there's a thing down the bottom there that says St. Petersburg Gillette Company, Boston, USA. So, I don't know. But, good blade. Good blade. Probably as good as uh, Paul Silver, I would say. Very good. Nice and smooth, but sharp. What more can you ask for? The soap, palm olive, shave stick, uh, grated into this tub. It is there, palm olive. Uh, what a lather that gave me. Yeah, plenty of water, had plenty of water to it. Uh, yeah, you can't go wrong. And the brush that helped me create the lather. Are you ready for your moment? Oh, I Kevin, that was brilliant. I really enjoyed that. Thanks very much. 
palm olive, you're no more, palm olive, you're no more. Uh, Sterling Kong 26mm, synthetic knot, very good, good brush. I like the shape of it, kind of like a vase shape. Good brush, yeah, very good. Um, I had three passes, beautif beautifully done, pickups as well. Uh, rinsed off with cold water, had a face wash. Uh, post shave was boots, cucumber facial toner. Good stuff, enjoyed it, and finished off with boots, cucumber moisturizing lotion. And there we have it, ladies and gents. A nice shave for the evening. It'll soon be time for bed. I just had an idea. Apparently, bananas help you sleep. I knew it. I knew there was something. Yeah, they have something in there that uh, helps you sleep. I knew it. I knew it. <sighs> what utter crap I talk. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for watching. Uh, thanks for your continued support. Uh, keep the comments coming. I'm trying to churn out as many videos as I can. Um, there's so much products to review. Uh, I, I will catch up. I will catch up eventually. I want to use different stuff and uh, stuff that I've already got in the den. Uh, but it's good. I want to show you guys new things that have just came out. If I've been sent them, I want to show them to you. Uh, so um, I can give you my opinion and uh, you can make your own mind up as to whether you want to, whether it kind of appeals to you, like the price points and stuff like that. Every Razor is, has a different price point. Some are more expensive than others. Others are more affordable. Uh, but that's what's the good thing about watching these videos. That's how I started. Um, and now I'm doing it for myself. Well, not for myself, for you guys. I mean, now I'm doing it myself. <laughs> for myself. Yeah, you're right, selfish Kevin, aren't you? Says you. <laughs> uh, right, okay. <laughs> that's all for me for today. I don't know. Um, can you imagine someone looking at this thinking, what on earth is he doing? So I just, one of my neighbours thinking, what on earth is he, who is he talking to? In the bathroom? I don't know. Right, okay, I'm going now. Uh, have yourselves a wonderful rest of this week. Uh, don't get tied down by politics. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Look after yourselves, stay positive, try and stay healthy. I'll see you soon. Take care.